Hello and welcome to my first episode of Dark Souls 2. So you might be wondering, well if this is your first episode, then why are you starting here? Uh, my file crashed twice and I was like, why would my recording crash twice? And then I got a warning from Windows saying that I'm running out of space. So that's most likely why my file crashed twice. Now I have fixed the problem, I hope at least. And so I will be telling so instead of creating a new account, uh, character and go through the progress and uh, of the starting zone, I will tell you what I've done. So what I've done so far is I have gotten past the ogre. I actually managed to pick up the gold pin resin without dying, which is the first time I've, I've ever done that. Uh, I have picked Saltman because I want to play as a spearman. I have never completed a Dark Souls game as a spearman or with a helmet or a lance so those are the three weapons i i will try to aim for but mostly the spear because i think that's really that's new and exciting for me um so that's pretty much it uh yeah let's get started from where I w uh oh one thing more i actually picked the bonfire centric because i uh, i was told by a friend uh our friend he showed me how you could get a lot of souls when you started playing Dark Souls 2. So that is what I'm gonna try. I think he found this trick from the internet. But for now I'm just gonna uh, give my friend that. And thank you for showing me this awesome trick. So yeah, let's get going. So yeah, this might be a tiny bit confusing. I'm sorry. I... Um, I wanted to go back, but I thought about it. It just seems so fake if I were gonna introduce me and start like, oh, I'm gonna think about Saltzman. So I think I would just give you uh, a recap of uh, what I've done so far, so I don't have to go through it again. Um, I hope it's all right and it won't be a too bad introduction. You can also see I actually got the shield from here because I actually got all the way down here, opened that, just got outside and then I got the warning and I went to check the file and yeah, it was uh, broken. So let's get started. I have been wanted to make a Dark Souls 2 video so badly. Uh, you might ask yourself, why Dark Souls 2 actually? Um, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls 3 and I've gotten a tiny bit tired of it. Not that it's a bad game, I played through it many times already, but I just wanted to go back and play some Dark Souls 2. Um, so yeah, here I am, Dark Souls 2, with hopefully some new strategies, uh, gonna be a great experience, I hope. And I could run to this bonfire right here, but I think he will stop me from actually sitting at it, so I'm gonna kill him. So let's just see, I think. Um, is he gonna fall down? Oh, he fell down. That's pretty convenient for me. I was actually unsure of which direction I should, uh, how I should approach this guy, but he just decided to fall off. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the plan I have and um, the, the trick my friend, he showed me, so. I'm just gonna be doing this. So I'm gonna run past this guy. You might think, uh, oh, one thing more. I really dislike these guys with the mace. They are, I don't know why they are, they're really tricking because uh, with the mace, you might think, oh, he must be really slow with that mace, right? Well, he is the fastest of all of these giants. I know it sounds silly, but it's really, really, um, if you're near Dark Souls, and you get here, you, you, you're like, oh, I can attack after a swing because that maze must, must be really slow. I mean, look at it. It's ginormous, but actually he is the fastest, so be careful. Just gonna run past him. All right, so this is uh, the trick I'm gonna show you now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so you're gonna count to seven just like that and then jump in front of him and his first move will always be that attack and he will fall down so 
that is it. So with the bonfire eccentric, what you can do, you can make him respawn on hard mode, but he will fall from for, uh, he will fall for ex the exact same trick. So this is a really great method to actually get a lot of souls to begin with. So let's just do that again. And friend, we are off to a great start, an absolutely amazing start. So yeah, I'm gonna burn the eccentric here. It is gonna make the, the area really, really tough. I think it's gonna put it at NG+, which means that you're basically, the difficulty is gonna be like if you had completed the game once before and uh, now playing through the story again. So it's gonna be really, really tough. Uh, to say that better, when you complete the game, you can play through the game again at the same level with your stuff, but all the enemies will be tougher. And that is the difficulty you get when you burn that bonfire centric. The boss also respawn, and but he will fall from the, for the same trick. So yeah, that's really convenient for us. So we are just gonna run past these guys. I think if I were to get hit, hit from one of these, I would get one hit. So I will have to be really careful. This guy have really long range. Just pass him and I have to hurry down here and actually make him follow me because I don't want him to stab me in the back or oh, hit me in the back when I'm uh, entering the portal. I have tried that once before but that was not to do this trick that was just when I was playing the game and getting to the bus after dying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I get him? Oh yeah, yeah, I got him. He just <laughs> okay, I was afraid I might have uh, messed that up, but I got him. So that's a really great start, as you can see. 36,000 souls in just above uh, 10 minutes. So that is going to be a huge boost to our character already. And I'm going to be investing those points in mostly dexterity and uh, st stamina, I believe, to get that uh, great build from for the speed I want. So. I will cut it for now so I hopefully don't get an error again and uh, thanks for watching, see you next time.